Hell of a job holding off those Comstar forces, Commander. They were clearly trying to obliterate their own installation, preferring to destroy the information they'd collected rather than let it fall into our hands. But thanks to your efforts, we were able to preserve the main research building and some of the data located inside. The good news is Spears and his IE staff have already begun analyzing the recovered data from the facility. The bad news is the Comstar attacks managed to delete much of the available data before we had the chance to intervene. From what we can tell, Comstar set up this stellar research facility in an effort to study the missing section of the star map. Comstar's own Explorer Corps, their version of the interstellar expeditions, have been hard at work using the information gathered here to search the region. System by system, note about looking for more Star League facilities to pillage. The region in question is quite vast and was almost entirely unexplored before Comstar arrived here. Thing is, we don't know how much progress Comstar has made. I guess only time will tell. When you've had a chance to clean up, come see me on the bridge. Spears has found something he wants to discuss with us. Okay. I guess we might as well go talk to her before we go anywhere else. Hey, Commander. I've learned that Spears' people were able to recover some additional data from the Comstar Research Facility. I'll let Spears explain the details himself. Okay. Go ahead, Sebastian. Commander, nice work saving that main research building been invaluable in our efforts to better understand some of Comstar's actions. I'm sure Rihanna has filled you in on what we initially discovered. Yeah, Comstar was using radio telescopes to help map the lost section of the star map, then using that data to aid in their search for more lost Star League facilities. Broadly speaking, that's it. Digging a little deeper into the remaining data, my people were able to find something quite curious. We found an additional map overlay Comstar were using in conjunction with the ancient star map. It shows that they've been tracking the movement of people and ships through this section of space. More specifically, people and ships headed into the inner sphere from somewhere out there in uncharted space. Clanners! What, what people? What does this have to do with my father and the coordinates he had in his possession? This this smells like clanners. An for you, Commander. The truth is. It's a deepening mystery, but one I intend to solve with your help. Is that going to be the finale? Positive we have to fight Clanners? Comstar is on the verge of discovering something major, something they're worried we might find first. That star map is the equivalent of a treasure map, except it's missing one crucial piece, and I think we have that missing piece. Not all of it, but the part that matters the most. The X that marks the spot. You mean one of the coordinates we have in our possession? Precisely. But we still haven't decrypted the second set of coordinates, never mind the third. Not yet. But my people are working with Rihanna. It's only a matter of time. Except that Comstar isn't waiting around for us. No, they're not. Which is why I think we should give them a swift kick in the shins. Slow them down a bit. What? And no. <laughs> some time to the second set of coordinates unlocked. Spears has identified a Comstar communications hub that we can attack and disable. Doing How about we that, don't do that? With their ability to communicate in this region of the periphery. It'll not only slow down their search, but force them to divert resources to rebuild and protect against future attacks. I like the sound of that. By the time you get us where we need to go, I should have the mission briefing ready. All right then, let's do this. Good luck, Commander. This is a terrible idea. All right, how bad was the damage? I know it's pretty severe, probably. Yep, all the ammo, two medium lasers, the gauze rifle. The gauze rifles are no longer viable for us because we've lost too much ammo. Uh, and then three heat sinks. So I'm going to have to rebuild this atlas. There's no doubt about it. Um, I, I, gauze rifles are just not viable because I don't have ammo and I can't find the ammo easily. So yeah, we're done. I have, I have backup gauze rifles, but they're kind of low quality. So, yeah, I think we're going to have to give up on that dream. Okay, let me take a look at the star map, because we have extensive repairs at least to do on the Atlas. Oh, let me go ahead and read this. Here we go, Commander. Time to hit Comstar where it hurts. I'm going to drop you in a safe distance from the target. From there, it's all on you. I expect you're our friends 
will have a substantial contingent of security forces to protect the site. They know how valuable it is. Your job is to fend them off and reduce that facility to rubble. Once you've done that, I'll come in and extract you. Could be a walk in the park, right? Good luck. They're gonna hit AC-20, LRM-5. I'm not sure why we're getting that. Ooh, good. Medium pulse laser. Unfortunately, it's only one. But hey, it helps. We will accept. All right. Let me take a look at the star map and see where they want us to go. So they want us to go further out into the periphery. Interestingly enough, that's the only other star over in this section. But definitely we need to come over to the um, industrial zone here. Unfortunately, it's going to be a long trip because it, this is the only real path. So we'll go over there. I'm not sure what we're going to do with the Atlas. Because the big problem we have is that everything that I could do that's not a Gauss Rifle is lighter than a Gauss Rifle. And I don't have anything else to spend the tonnage on. So I'm going to have to think this out. Uh, maybe there's an option. But we'll have to see. In any case, let's go do the simple repairs first. I guess we should also look at the market. See what's here. Uh, we've got ourselves an awesome, another king crab, and then a stalker. Different variant that we have. The king crab is somewhat tempting, because having another one might be good, but I'm not sure. Uh, well, in any case, let's see what about about equipment here. Um, some higher quality large lasers. We already have some, though. You know what? This is kind of a jumbled mess. I'm going to sort this. The ballistic weapon. Might be... Uh, no, these aren't... I don't think these are high enough quality to be worth picking up. I mean, we do have high-quality AC-20s. I mean, that could be the, the path we go, but... Again, I'm gonna have to think it through. Yeah, so large lasers. We already have seven, so I'm not sure about that one. Um, LRMs, nothing. No AMS systems. No double heat sinks. No LRM ammo with Artemis system that I'm seeing. And no uh, Gauss rifle ammo. So, unfortunately... Yeah, we're kind of stuck. Take a couple half tons of our ammo. Why not? What about auto cannon 20? Do we have any half tons of that? We have two. I'm going to go ahead and buy another two. Maybe even all three. Yeah, all three. Okay. Let me take a look at the Atlas. Okay. The dual SRM-6 is just a great combo, and I really don't want to change that. If I, if I can. But if I put an AC-20 in, in this mech, I... I mean, let's just face it. I, I, I have... Well, I guess I, ha I have enough that I could do this one more time. I'm not sure where I got this armo, because I thought it was really tight. Well, we finished the mission, but it was real rough, and my atlas got wrecked, so I might have to rebuild it. The, the problem is I don't have very high quality... Uh, well, I guess I have the same quality we already had. I think I'm going to stick with the build, because I thought I didn't have very much ammo. Um, this will be the last time I can rebuild it, though, because I only have five and a half tons of ammo, and this thing normally holds three and a half tons. Let me go ahead and repair. Yeah, this is a lot of systems to have to replace, though. Okay, so let's start with the medium lasers. Simple enough. Heat sinks. Well... Originally, I was thinking that we didn't have the ammo, but now that's kind of changed things. 
This will definitely be the last time we can do this build. Because our other Gauss rifles are very low quality, and this would... If we lose this torso section again, that is all of the ammo pretty much that we have, so... I just don't know what else other build to do. I mean, if we go AC-20, it would be lighter and we could maybe do some things with it. But the problem of going AC-20 is I I don't have any weapons that reach out and, and hit anything at range. So this would be entirely a close range brawler. And as slow as a mech of this, this is, that seems like a bad idea to me. We should have at least one weapon that can hit out at that range. Now, if I go with a lighter auto cannon, like, for example, this uh, LB-10X, it's so light that I don't know what I'd do with the tonnage. This is not really a hot running mech, so I don't really need the heat sinks. A lot of our ammo would be vulnerable. You made it back with an arm? <laughs> Just one? Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the build because it has been effective. There's certain things I don't like about it, but I just don't know how I make it better. Oh, wait. How many medium pulse lasers do we have now? I think three. Because there's two here. Didn't we get another one? I swore in that reward thing that we got... I thought we got another medium pulse laser, but I'm not seeing it. I mean, I mean, maybe I'm being blind. But I thought we got a quality 4 medium pulse laser. Maybe I misread it. Or maybe that's a reward coming up, but I, I don't think so. Maybe that is the reward for the next mission. Well, I could do pulse lasers. The problem is that they run hotter. And then we could do the lighter auto cannon. I still would have a lot of tonnage to work with, though. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure what to do with this build. What's the range on a medium pulse laser versus a normal laser? Definitely shorter. Alright. So let me think this through. So we use this at range, or a standard autocannon for that matter. It doesn't have to be that other one. We've got a four quality four. We have two different choices. I, I'd go with this if I was going range, because these are a little bit easier to be accurate with. Uh, what's the max range on this? 517? Nowhere near what the Gauss Rifle does. I think the Gauss Rifle is like, what, 700 something? Almost 700. Of higher quality would be over 7. And then the... This guy is 621. So it's about 100 meters more. But let's say we went with that. This definitely would limit my range. Fortunately, the ammo is going to be exposed, but I'm going to grab this heat single heat sink and put it over here. We're going to switch this over to medium pulse lasers. Um, yeah. Now we need ammo and then just filling out the rest here. So I'm going to put one ton. We need more AC-10 half ammo. Let me go ahead and buy some. Forget how I do that. <laughs> Oh, okay. Alright. One, two... I mean, honestly, three tons is probably overkill. I'm gonna go with a half ton. So two and a half tons, I put one ton down here. So we've got one and a half tons of ammo. Um, then we just need to go heat sinks, I guess. This... The one advantage of the rifle is that it is not very heat inducing. Yeah, it's less than one heat. So this will generate more heat, but it will fire uh, twice as fast. 
than the rifle, if not better than that. So fire twice as fast. It won't do as much damage, but it's not a big difference. 12 versus 15. So we lose three damage, but we fire twice as fast. And then I guess we just go heat sinks. So it should be more... I usually run the Atlas myself, but there are occasions where I let the AI use it. Not, a, not super common, but they do, but occasionally they do. I don't let them run the King Crab because that's definitely my back of choice. But yeah, I think this is what we're going to go with. I'm not sure how effective this is going to be, but... We really can't rely on that uh, Gauss Rifle anymore, and this is kind of a change I've been wanting to do for some time. Okay, well that's going to have to do it. 72 days, holy, holy crap. Alright guys. Let me take a look at the star map real quick. So we've got time to burn. Now, in theory, we might not use that Atlas in the next mission, so it might be okay. There's no real other missions here, so I figure we might as well just go and do what we've got here. Just the question is, do we want to go shopping? I don't know. I don't think so. Those are the optimal distance of whichever weapons do the most damage, so it's better to load AI machines with weapons that hit, all hit from the same distance, not spread groups like you would do for your own mech. Okay, I see what you're saying. I kind of agree with that. That's one of the reasons why the awesome has been as effective as it is. It's just the problem is it's kind of hard to do that with a lot of mechs because of the weapon slots you get. So I'm sure there's certain mechs that are just just better, but yeah. Okay. Well, I guess in the case of the Atlas, it's it's fine because most of its weapons are close range. But just, let's just go ahead and take a look at the barracks though I'm before I forget. Here you know ah, here we go. Be. We got somebody at level 60 um, and they look to be really good. So let's go lo take a look at our pilot roster and see who to get rid of. Um, I'm going towards Captain Sergeant. Yeah, let's get rid of Captain Sergeant here. Um, in theory, Meyer is below Sergeant in ability, but she gets paid less, so... I don't know. I guess we should get rid of Meyer. It makes more sense. Fine. Bye-bye. All right. I'm just here chilling. I'm just here chilling. All right. You know where to find me. You don't look like anybody else we have, right? Uh, you look just like Sloan. We, I, I, I think we, we have to pick her up, though, because she's too good. So um, maybe we fire that other guy at some other point. Honestly, I don't know if it's a he or she in this case. Maybe it is a she. Yeah, seems to say so here. You don't get the voice lines when they're already in your roster. Okay, I get that you're chilling. Chilling, you're chilling. <laughs> All right, that's higher. I'm just here chilling. You know where to find me. I'm just, I'm just. Everybody has that voice, huh? Prepped and ready, Commander. Except that guy. Alrighty, let me go ahead and take a look at the star map and get going. Oh wait, I was gonna look at my battle map, see how much time we needed. Okay, we're good there. Let's get going. Hopefully, this mission isn't as rough. You just basically use different loadout and positions, etc., seeing if it would affect behavior. It didn't. They just fired what hurt the most and targeted whatever was damaging the most aggro. Yeah, I haven't really, like... I just know that there's certain things the AI is just not really good with. Um, but yeah, I guess if you want to do a lot of LRM type stuff, you want to make sure that that's pretty much all they have and that kind of stuff. But I think the problem with that is they can get caught out really easily, uh, especially with the way the game used to be. I'm not sure if it's still that way uh, to a certain extent, but where you get like rushed down by just enemies from every direction. So 
I don't know if a build like that is viable. I don't know. But I do know that some mechs just turn out to be really disappointing and other mechs can be really great. Okay, we're here. Let's take a look at the uh, contract. So it's difficulty 90, which is technically lower difficulty than other missions we do, we've done, but that last mission was difficulty 90, and it was probably the hardest mission I've ever done, and we had to try it twice to be able to get through it. Okay. So we're going to get some damage coverage, uh, and then we'll just pump everything else into salvage shares. Okay, so the Atlas is out. Switch over to the King Crab. Now, they made it sound like they were dropping me off a decent distance away from the enemy, so I'm hoping we can use range against the enemy. Uh, otherwise, I don't think we change our loadout, but we will change pilots because we just got a very, very good pilot. Question is, who do we replace? Well, it depends on what her skill set and what she would be good at. So Captain Sloan here, who looks just like Major... Uh, Oh, that's the first major. I was wondering if we'd ever find a major. So, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm going to say Lang here. I think the highest one I've seen so far, far is 95, but it's very relative. Okay, so. Definitely want to use her. Just the question is, who do we replace? So. Uh, I think we stick with Gan, for sure. And probably we stick with Hutchison as well. So, I guess uh, Sheffield's going to be the odd man out in this one. Um, she's already got pretty much her weapon systems maxed out. The only thing she's lacking in is energy weapons and heat efficiency and, well, evasion. I think we move some things around, though, because the Banshee was kind of disappointing last time, but I feel like we've seen the Banshee do well. So maybe the right move with the Banshee is to move it to be the clo like right next to me rather than in the back like we had it. Because it does have a decent amount of closer range weapons. It does have the large lasers and the AC-5 and the LRM-10 that can hit at range. But all those weapons can, except for the LRM-10, can hit at closer ranges. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to reshuffle things, which doesn't mean I'm going to have to reshuffle my pilots. But um, let's go ahead and put the Stalker in back. Oh, wait. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, yeah, Stalker and back, so we'll grab the Banshee. So Stalker and back. Yeah, I'm even, not even sure if the Stalker makes sense. Maybe we put the Highlander and back. Yeah, yeah. Highlander and back. Okay. So that means we just have to switch around our pilots. Um, so... I think the Stalker stayed put. Yeah, so we just need to change these two pilots. Okay. And if anything, if the Banshee doesn't um, perform as far as damage output, we want it close so it can soak damage in. Uh, Lang here should be good, or Lange. I'm going to guess with... I'm just going to stick with Lang, though. Um, should be good in soaking that because of her uh, damage reduction stat. I mean, on, honestly, the only person that isn't uh, maxed out of there is Hutchison. And the Stalker is the one we don't want to be soaking damage, so... Okay, let's ready up. And fingers crossed we can actually use our, our range this time. Oh, god damn, I meant to look at the King Crab to see if we can fix the ammo problem where we ran out of ammo. It was the only time I ran out of ammo, though, and it was because of the number of enemies we had to fight. I mean, what was it, 91 enemies we ended up killing in that last mission? Which I think is the most enemies I've ever Reactor seen. online. Well, Sensors of a mission online. that I actually played through. Weapons online. All systems nominal. The target is Comstar's communications. Where am I on the map? It needs to be reduced to rubble in order to limit their operating proficiency in the region. I've marked its location I have no idea. on your map, Commander. And I can't move anywhere because of the damn dropship. <laughs> we'll just wait for it to go away. I guess we can go this way. Yeah, 
Yeah, I have no idea where I am on the map. Obviously, I'm in a corner somewhere. Oh. Guess we'll find out eventually. Oh, okay, so we're over there. The map's somewhat misleading because that coast looks like it's much closer. Because that looks like water there, but might look pleasant out there. But watch for VTOLs in line of sight with the sun. Um, but there, there isn't a sun. I don't see a sun. Do you see a sun anywhere? Be quiet, Hutchison. <laughs> All right, let me take a look at the map. I think we go off to the left. I want to be able to use my range. So I think there's that hill just to the south of the city. We'll go there. Maybe we can get a good spot at the enemy and be able to stay at range. And we can use the hell hill to maybe give us some cover. So that's my game plan. What was that? Oh, just meteors? Meteorites? Oh, 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 oh. What's hitting me? Shit. A lot of vehicles, God. Most of them are freaking really heavy tanks. I mean, how many freaking demolishers are there? God damn it. Okay, game, this is really ridiculous. So I have no armor on one of my arms. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm kind of already pissed at this mission. We're restarting that. <laughs> and I'm going to try and take this uh, more intelligently. I don't know. But how many demolishers were there? Like four? Five? And then there was at least two partisan heavy tanks. I mean, come on. When you strip all my armor and we haven't even started the mission in one of my locations, that um, kind of hints at not the most... <sighs> yeah. Attention. Looks like they still have a long way to go with balancing missions. I get we're at the end game, but come on. Hangar doors opening. Stand clear. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. The target is Comstar's communications hub. It needs to be reduced to rubble in order to limit their operating proficiency in the region. I've marked his location on your map, Commander. This is why attacking Comstar was a bad idea. It turns out they're dangerous. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, as far as this game goes, I really wish they would do this like just about every other MechWarrior game. I know MechWarrior Online did things differently, but the way that they do like being able to lock on is one of the main reasons why LRMs are so ineffective in this game. It makes the ability to do like indirect fire and long range fighting with LRMs not all that effective. I mean, we didn't get sight of the enemy until we were pretty much right on top of them. And I really don't know why that was the case. I guess because of the heavy forest? I don't know. Down. 
You see, I'm getting hit already, and I, I can't lock on to anything. Which would make my LRMs kind of effective. So look how much damage I've taken, and I can't even return fire. And I, you know, I'm losing lock. My stalker is going to take a lot of damage because it is just blindly like running forward. I mean, you see how much damage they can freaking soak? God damn it, I didn't mean to change targets. I don't know if I handled that better or worse, to be totally honest with you. I mean, I took less damage. But my cockpit is already on orange. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. I have a feeling that this mission is going to be a mess, too. Definitely, I need to look at this mech and maybe downgrade how much ammo I have with LRMs. So how come I could lock onto that and I couldn't have locked onto those tanks that I could clearly see? It's just that kind of inconsistency that really bothers me. Here I have very clear, like, being able to lock on at long range. And before I had none. I really wish I understood how it worked. Oh, okay, a lot of enemies. that shot. Not sure why I'm shooting at the cicada, but it's almost dead, so... terrible in this mission, but... So the Banshee's almost down. Okay. There it is. A 
I'll leave the rest of the demolition job up to you, Commander. All right, so demolition jobs, you have non-stop spawning enemies, I think. I mean, we've never proved that. C shot. It's hard to hit those at close range. Give me a break, game. God damn. We have to deal with any more enemies. This mission is done. This area is on his last legs, Commander. Just one final push, and then we can all go home. Yeah, we're done. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna lose both my arms, which is all my firepower. Oh, fuck. fuck. I'm sorry, but this mission is, is ridiculous. And this is just the epitome of the crap that has been pissing me off with this game. And I don't want to come across as negative. I really don't, but... I, I just, I don't understand... Reactor Maybe online. this is one of the things they haven't Sensors really rebalanced online. yet because it's one of the Weapons campaign missions, online. but... All systems nominal. The target is Comstar's communications hub. It needs to be reduced to rubble in order to limit their operating proficiency in the region. I've marked its location on your map, Commander. Copy that. If I lose my arms in this mech, I lose pretty much all of my firepower, all of my effective firepower. So, if that happens, we're pretty much done. And they're throwing so many freaking enemies at me, I can't even use my alarms because by the time I sit there to do a lock-on, I'm getting freaking hammered by... 10 plus enemies all hitting me at once. I don't know. Maybe I go at this from a different angle. We've been going this way. Let's go a different way.
Target acquired. And I, I can't even kill the lightest of enemies with my LRMs. Stuck on something. <laughs> go this way. I'm gonna go on this in the most roundabout way I possibly can. It also seems like the AI is really just aiming for my arms. Like, I don't know if that's something that the AI just does. Um. Because you do lose your arms a lot in this game. And for this mech, it's a real problem. Because again, that's all my firepower. And I've never had a problem with this mech in the past. But... Then again, I don't know if I've ever asked this much of it before. Alright. So we tried to go around so that there's this open field here. Not so much forest. Go up on this hill a little bit, see if we can get better sight lines. So, we encountered a bunch of demolishers before. Where are they? Because I'm pretty sure we didn't kill them yet. I'm just going to start hitting the buildings back here before we actually have the objective to do so. Because I have a feeling you, they don't respawn, the enemies that is, until you've actually gotten the objective. So we're going to cheat. I'm going to conserve my ammo and only use the PPC. Let's see if we can game the system. Now, I don't know if it's going to count any of this damage, but... If they're going off of how much health the buildings have, well, they already have been damaged. Target acquired. Okay, well, apparently I was wrong about that because here comes in a bunch of spawn. Those literally spawn right in front of me. So I think we have no choice now than to move in. Target okay. acquired. Did I not kill that thing? Target acquired. You know what? Wrecked. Target destroyed. Yeah, that was a waste. Target destroyed. That guy's stuck in the ground. I don't know. 
Okay, so it did take that health damage. I couldn't have that any harder. Alrighty. Okay, last time I hung back, and I think that was the wrong call. Yeah, it's just gonna hit the building. Hi, you bastard. I'm gonna lose my arm again. Damn it. Let's get this thing over with, guys. How did I miss you? So I've almost lost both my arms again. And we know there's going to be another wave coming in very soon. So, yeah, I'm not sure we're doing much better than we did last time. Wish my allies were out of the way so I could actually keep shooting at the buildings. I hear them coming in and they're gonna drop right on top of me. We're dead. I'm gonna die because I, uh, there's... Other fucker, man. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm starting to get kind of... A little sick of this bullshit. And we still have to get out. I'm dead. Like, I'm taking so much... Somehow I got out of that. I don't know how. Mission success, Commander. Time to get out of here. Well, let, let me just say, again, I don't want to be negative here, but that mission pissed me off. <laughs> no doubt about it. <sighs> well, we got through it. I think we're going to have to stop today because I don't think I can handle much more of that. 
I'm not sure I can even think straight anymore. I'm also not sure what the damage is. Uh, I hope I didn't lose any of my double heat sinks. I'll tell you that much. Because if I did, I'm going to be not very happy. Go ahead and take these. Sure, why not? Is there anything else jumping out at me is something we'd really want? It's really easy to miss good systems and all this. Especially as many of them are not good systems. I guess I'll pick these up. So we have two shares left. I guess I'll just go with the highest value thing that is two shares. So that'd be this thing. Okay. So I took 2.3 million. I, I have a feeling I lost double heat sinks. And if I did, I, I'm not going to be happy because I have no way to replace them. I'm, re I'm really nervous what the outcome of this is. I'm going to guarantee you I lost double heat sinks because of all that center torso damage. I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm nervous. Well, that was the outcome. I don't think we had necessarily as many enemies. Uh, 30... Looks like about 55 enemies, but just the sheer like weight of the enemies, like how many demolishers, partisans, like I don't know. That looked like entirely too much fun, Commander. No, it wasn't. But hey, if you can't enjoy your work, why do it, right? On a more serious note, now that Comstar's forward comms have been disabled, they'll have to divert valuable resources to rebuilding and protecting the site. Not to mention their Explorer Corps core will be uh, operating in the dark for a while. That should slow them down plenty. Nice work. Yeah, so this is where we got the medium pulse laser. So what was the damage? I really don't want to have to do that mission again, but I have a feeling that we took damage that I'm going to be really upset about. Okay, we just lost the auto cannon. I can live with that, even though this will take forever to repair. Now, I don't think I have a replacement for that auto cannon, but it's just going to have to be what it is. I would have to check to see if I have a replacement. I don't think I do. Um, in theory, I have a quality three one, so it would be a downgrade. Yeah, again, I don't, I don't like to be negative when I'm doing streams like this, but that mission, those, it was those two missions back to back is kind of what did it. Um, I don't mind having a mission like this if it's like one of the last missions you're going to do. And I know we're getting close to the end, but I really don't know how close to the end we are. And if this was like the final mission and they were going to throw like just crazy crap at me, I would live with it. But the fact that they've been doing this crap to me the whole time I've been playing this game, I don't know. It just, it's kind of hard to take it. It's kind of like death by attrition. A lot of the good weapon systems you get by doing missions, you don't get them from stores. And you, by using the best equipment you can, you take a lot of damage, you lose those systems, and then you can't replace them. And that's kind of starting to become where I'm at. And although they are giving me good weapons to replace them with, they're giving me the same weapons over and over again. Like, I don't know how many high-quality auto cannon 20s I've gotten at this point as rewards. Um, I'd actually have to check how many we have. It's like I have three of the things. I have two of this quality, and I didn't buy any, any of this stuff, I, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I bought one, but most of these I've gotten as rewards, so... Yeah, I don't know. 